Hello everyone out there, you're welcome back to my channel, I'm Halima and if this is the first time you're watching me, I want to say a big thank you to you remember to always subscribe to my channel, like my video and comment for those of you who have already subscribed to this channel, I really appreciate you all for sticking by me uh, thank you for your support, remember to always watch my video to the end and like my video, comment and share today's tutorial segment will be on how to make this lovely cheap dress with a collar neckline this is actually very simple and it's also another way of finishing your neckline if you don't want to use a bias binding you can finish up with a one piece collar neck one piece collar neckline on your dress like what i have here it is very simple it is very easy it is um, good because this dress is versatile you can dress up with it for church for work and so, and so many things you can do but before we get to the illustration, just a friendly reminder once again, it is very important to subscribe to this channel as a way of supporting your girl. Remember, subscription is free and I appreciate you all for doing this. And please hit the red subscribe button down below. Click on that bell icon, that way you get notified whenever I upload new videos. And without further ado, let's get that tutorial illustration and let's have the tutorial done together. Please, please, please subscribe. Thank you. On my table, the things I'll be needing for to make this um, dress as follow the fabrics. I need the floral print and the black. I'll be using my um, um, those combination to make the dress. The next thing we need now is a ruler, and um, I'll need my pins. I'll need my scissors. I'll need my measuring tape measuring tape and i'll also most importantly my drawing pattern for the front and back borders i'll put um the video on how to make your own pattern in the description section the next thing i did was to place my front pattern on my fabrics as you can see this was up to my hips length the hips line but will extend it to the desired length on the fabrics and the next step is to trace out our that that's the dark leg shape on the fabrics so we're going to do it this way i will be creating um there's no hard rules in doing this i just gonna freestyle my own method by creating a tacking point at the end of the dark leg i will go ahead and tack the dart because i've placed the thread on my needle I will tap the first point at that pose position and then I'll go ahead and also tack at the midpoint. Then I'll go ahead and make a tacking point at the waistline, which is the midpoint, and uh, the tacking point again at uh, the top of the dart leg. So these are three locations I'm gonna do my dart tacking, and that way I will be able to like go to my fabrics and create the dart uh, leg there are other ways you can do it just let me know you can also do it directly on the fabrics without having your pattern down just measure your dart distance and place it there so there are so many ways of doing this so i've been able to create like the three dart positioning that is at the waist and also at the top of the dart leg so with this we've done that you can also do it directly as i said earlier on without going through this method next thing i did was to transfer my hips line distance to the final length of the dress for this illustration this dress is actually before the nail so i'll just calculate the distance which is my hips divided by four on the hip plus two inch extra plus half inch for sewing i'll put that on the final length of the dress and that's it so we have the final length of the dress that you can see the bottom of the hemline um, and um, the one inch seam allowance I made to connect everything together to the final desired length. So just go ahead and follow this illustration, it's very easy. So I'm just going ahead to cut out the fabrics. Um, I'm just showing a clip, a little clip of how I cut out the fabric. On the armhole there, I just added half inch seam allowance, unlike the side seam where I put one inch. I go ahead and cut it down to the shoulder seam and notch the waistline. 
and then I'll go ahead and measure out my inseam pocket which is two and a half inch away from the waistline and then I'll create my dart position my dart drawing I'll draw out my dart legs out and pin out the darts on both sides of the front and I'll sew it along that direction which my finger pointed and that's the end of it I'll do for the second dart and I'll show you what the finished look look like outside and um, that's it so I've sewn it off and I'll move to the next step now the back borders next the back pattern is on the fabric I made alteration to the waist at the center back line um, due to the fact that we'll be putting a zip at the center back there so I need to work on it to avoid puckling or what they call swaying back at the back of that center um, waistline so what I did was to go on the waistline and take half inch from the center back line and then I connected the half inch down to the hips line hips point as if I want to create a dart and in that way it's it's better doing it that way because that will help to move the sway back problem and you will not have any rising at the back at the waistline when you wear your dress so connect it straight down to the hips point that point there where my hand is as if you're drawing it that and order every that they should remain constant and on the, on the other side of it you connect it and move to the neckline with a straight ruler and that way you'll be able to capture the C curve that looks like the human back because our backs are not straight so that's the curve I'm drawing now with the broken line so you'll be able to capture that curve now using that method so in so doing you've been able to take off what we call the sway back from the zip from the back way center back line and then we need to put measure out zip but before we do that we need to cut off the x the unneeded part of the center back line where we created the c core for the center back let's do that together part of the c curve and this is our new c curve line so what i'm going to do now is to add my seam allowance for the zip and that's it from that point on though from this new waistline now i'll measure out my that distance and my dart distance is 4.5 I'll go ahead and um, mark out the new dart distance because there's already a shift in the from the old dart um, leg so we'll also go ahead and do the same tacking method I did in the front bodice tack the end of the dart leg transfer this to the new dart position and redraw a new dart distance so just tack the main line and then redraw the same dart process but you know the dart has shifted now because we have created a new center back line so it will measure 4.5 from my dart distance from that position that is your nipple to nipple distance divided by two you measure it out here you measure out the 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 distance from this point to the new that position where we we'll draw out that and then that's what we have so we'll do the same tacking as i did in the back bodice and create and create out the dark leg so in so doing now from the waistline i'll go ahead and measure my waist distance plus that my waist divided by four plus my dart one inch plus my seam allowance for sewing which is one inch so my waist divided by four is um nine nine plus one for that is eight my waist divided by four is eight point seven five plus one inch for that that's 9.75 plus one inch for seam allowance that is 10.75 so i'll make a mark on that point here so uh, the next thing i have to do is to go to my chest line and measure out my boss distance um, my boss is 42 42 divided by 4 is 11 is 10.5 plus half inch is 11 i'll go ahead and put a mark on that 11 and then um, um 11 and then connect and join out um, the waistline and then i'll just show you a clip of how i'm cutting just cut off follow the same process i did in the front pattern in doing your cutting in the back and then just cut out all these armhole and shoulder seam and that's it the neckline for that um, this thing is the same 
go ahead and repeat all the process i did in the front pattern to the back pattern remember to transfer the hip distance to the back when cutting when doing your calculation join the shoulders seam together that's for the front and back but then join the side seam and then also join the dart for the back borders together and we'll be left with fixing the zip of using an invisible zip so i'll just uh, go to my machine and join every part that needs to be joined together and i'll show you what the final looks look like and then we'll proceed to the next step by finishing the neckline here's the final look of the dress on the table is um a very lovely print floral dress so um what i did here is i coupled everything like um join the side seam i fixed my sleeve i fixed my sleeve and um sew in my zip but i just made an alteration to the basement at the end of the dress because i don't have a sleeve this is like a shift dress i went ahead to like make some gather splits so i just cut a long strip of fabrics i did not put any um slit on this dress it's a shift dress so what i did was just to put up a gathers and the gathers distance is just like um, i took seven inch i took seven inch and i took a long strip of fabrics like measured out the circumference of this uh, measure out the circumference of this the floral print dress that's the hem of this dress i measured it out as 25 so i did twice i took twice the, this twice the measurement of that 25 like two and a half of it i multiply i took a long strip like 60 inch by seven inch so the width of the fabric i took was 60 inch all right so i've done the dress and on the board along that distance and the length of the gathers was seven inch just to like um add a beauty around the down part of the dress so you could do a gathers you could do a box pleat you could do a knife pleat whatever you want to do at the basement is up to you you could leave it like that without putting any pleat i just decided to put a pleat on my own so um the pleats the gathers i did here so we're going to start making the neck collar the first thing we need to do is to unzip the dress and then match out the zip the shoulder to shoulder point the center front point together and take your tape measure after matching it in that way as i showed you out um take your tape and measure out from the zip put your tape through and measure the value down to your center front point in this way as illustrated with my fingernails just do the same thing and get the value the value is 10.5 okay 10.5 is half the front and back neckline distance we're going to add 0 0.5 each same allowance to it that makes it 11 so put that value down okay so i've gone ahead to cut a paper on my table i will fold the paper into two halves just in, to enable me get the midpoint of the paper and on that midpoint of the paper i will measure which will be the center i'll measure out half of 11 which is 5.5 .5 from that center point i'll go ahead and measure out 5.5 .5 as i use my finger to illustrate and then when i open up that 5.5 .5, it gives me 11 which is half the front and back neckline distance as i've written on my paper then the next thing i'll do is to get the height of the color which is four inch I've gone ahead to indicate the 4 inch length of the collar on my paper just to make it clear for you to see and remember half of the front and the back neckline distance is 11. So let's proceed to the next thing we need to do now is for us to go ahead from that point of where I have a line I'll measure out 7 cm just to draw the triangular edge that forms the shirt collar so i'll go ahead and measure 7 cm or 2.5 inch 
just with my ruler So I'll go ahead and fold it back and at the top of that um, part where my hand is touching which will be sold to the neckline I'll go ahead and measure half inch and on that half inch I'll put the mark on that point and make a curve and make, and make a curve line to join it to the end to that other point at the beginning of that triangle leg just to see what I've done and follow the same illustration that curve line will be the part that we join to the neckline um, of the dress thank you just take note I'll cut two piece each for each half side of the collar so in total we're cutting four pieces of the collar i'll place the material right side to right side on fold and then i'll place the pattern on it in this way and i'll okay so i'm gonna have to cut four pieces and i did place interfacing on two piece then i'll join right side right side together one of the interfacing one with the play material and i will go ahead and pin the direction to which i'll sew the cuff part I showed you will be sold to the neckline. I've pinned the direction to which the sewing machine will be done around the um, um, collar. That's it. That one will be sold to the neckline when my hand is pointing. So go ahead and sew it together and then I'll show you how to couple it. Thank you. The next thing is to attach the collar to the neckline and the best way of doing that is to turn the, um, the dress inside and then you place the collar the one with the interfacing will be will be lying down towards the material and then you will pin the direction to which you want to sew the um, collar on the dress um, just like this the way I pinned it out you pin it but from the inside you will place the collar on that direction and then you sew along that line that means the first half and the second half can you see how it looks like and i put something you saw like that the way my hand is being exp um, explained on it i'll go and do that and show you what it looks like the final outlook on the sewing machine so the one that has interfacing is lying down so i'll sew now and bring it back to you thank you here's the final look of the dress i've gone ahead to couple the sleeve and the neckline looks very good and then a better way of finishing the dress if you don't want to use a bias binding if this video was helpful to you please don't forget to help me hit the subscribe button like my video make comment and share thank you all and see you all in my next video please subscribe 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 thank you